So if you uh, watched my other video about uh, building a cob oven, you'll know it was right there. <laughs> it was the same roof structure. Uh, we got some chickens and I decided that the oven would go and we'd uh, build it. We'd turn the roof structure into a chicken coop instead. So um, here, here we go. It's basically, uh, everything's gotten sticky now that we painted it again. But um, here's the inside run. It's about... I don't know, it's about 64 square feet, but it might be more. Um, and then we've got a gutter in the back that goes to a rain barrel. Um, this, of course, has a cord in case you get trapped inside. You can open the door. Uh, also, there's a cord here that goes to the door with a little hook, so you can unhook that. And it's time to open the coop. You can just hook that there. There's a bunch of uh, ventilation holes up here and a couple up here. And on the other side, the door is actually multiple doors. So you can open the bottom door just to clean out the, the bottom of the coop. Or you can open uh, the main door. Or you can also open this just this window, um, which has chicken wire or hardware cloth. And then it just hangs on this hook up here. Um, and then when you open this, there's the two roosts. One is a little higher than the other, and uh, this is actually, you can hear all the noise in the distance, they're cutting down a bunch of trees, and luckily there was this piece of oak that does a 90 degree bend. So this gives us more roosting space and, uh, and a spot over there to put their food and their water that won't get pooped on. Um, this is some ethernet cable. I, I, I took the uh, outer part off of the ethernet cable, that's what the blue is there. Underneath that is wire rope, and that's just holding up uh, the corner here. And so I just put that blue stuff on there just to keep them from rubbing against the metal uh, wire rope. Um, I do things normally, like I overthink things and do things way uh, carefully, but I just decided with this coop that it was gonna be kind of slapdash, and so uh, there are a lot of decisions that were just made on the fly. But of course, I can't resist um, modeling things in Fusion 360, and so I did that, but also because I already had a model of the roof structure from the oven, so I just kind of adapted it and um, and I had at least some idea of what it would look like, uh, if not, you know, cut lists. I didn't, I didn't have, go that far. But it also gives me a way, too, to estimate the uh, weight of it. When uh, my wife and I decided we didn't want to leave it there but move it over 12 feet, so we actually moved it ourselves. It's probably about 700, 750 pounds or something. Um, just some acrylic that I had hanging around, so there's a little window here. It's also a window in the back that's screened in and that closes as well that little piece of wood holds it up um, turns out maybe the those windows aren't so great because they're kind of near the roost um, it is under the roost but i think uh, it's not great for them to to have uh, a breeze at their backs so we might just use that to kind of air the coop out and um, just leave them you know we've, we've got the, the ventilation holes there and uh, there are none in the back because of the windows there but there are some others too. I'm hoping that's enough ventilation. Uh, the two here, five on the other side, another few on the other side from that. Um, everything is kind of buried in the ground. So the uh, hardware cloth goes all the way down and then it goes down another foot and then comes out about two feet this way. And then, um, then I put the boards on the bottom on last and there are a bunch of stones buried in the ground here to kind of further dissuade any diggers from trying to get in. Um, and that's about it. I think the uh, thing now is to just see if they like it. And um, that's why I wanted to document this before they get in there so that I can point out all the things that I did wrong once they, once they decide that I did it wrong. Um, so here's also our, the ramp. And hopefully that's, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe that's too steep, I don't know. So um, we really don't know what we're doing, but um, we're going to see once the chickens get in there how they like it. Also, this, this bottom, I'm not so totally happy with this bottom situation. These aren't even pressure treated because I didn't really want pressure treated everywhere with the chickens. Um, so, you know, some of this isn't pressure treated, some is. But the bottom parts are not pressure treated and I expect them to kind of rot away. But they're not crucial. They're just really holding the, the, uh, the wire in place. And I could always uh, pop that off and put pressure treated on there if it, if it uh, gets rotted quicker than I thought. So that's it. That's the coop.